Among the PC builders, the third-generation Ryzen 5 3600 CPU by AMD has been quite a popular choice for a CPU. It has 6 cores and 12 threads, which will run even the most demanding of games quite easily, while it also has enough power to be used as a workstation for editing projects or designing. The CPU also has a great price range, which makes it a very good choice for a mid-end CPU. There are some great CPU coolers available in the market for reasonable prices for a compact low-profile PC build, as well as for ATX PC build. We have listed some of the best CPU cooler for Ryzen 5 3600 CPU in this video. So without any further ado, let's begin. To get more information on any of these products, check out the links in the description box below for more information, and don't forget to subscribe to Gaming Gadgets Geek's YouTube channel. Starting our list with Noctua NHD 15. The Noctua NHD 15 CPU air cooler has a dual tower CPU cooler design. Noctua did listen to their customers and kept the things that worked well while adding some new changes to the Noctua NHD 15 CPU cooler. The Noctua NHD 15 CPU cooler has support for 150mm fans as well as 140mm fans. Noctua is known for its low noise level and great to excellent performance across all of the models of their CPU coolers. The Noctua NHD 15 CPU air cooler is the best CPU cooler for Ryzen 5 3600 overclocking because of its cooling power. It is incredibly silent and has a reasonable price. This makes the Noctua NHD 15 CPU air cooler a great choice if you want to pair it with the AMD's Ryzen 5 3600 CPU. The Noctua NHD 15 CPU cooler offers socket compatibility for AMD and Intel, covering all of the current socket types. It is 150mm wide, 160mm tall, and is 135mm deep without a fan. However, with a fan, the Noctua NHD 15 is 150mm wide, 165mm tall, and will be 161mm deep. Using two fans will increase the height significantly. If you mount both fans to the Noctua NHD 15 CPU cooler, there will be 1320 grams hanging from the motherboard. The Noctua NHD 15 CPU air cooler has six copper heat pipes that are soldered to the base, which is a copper base and has been nickel plated. Each and every fin in both stacks of the CPU cooler has been directly soldered to each of the heat pipes, allowing the low CFM fans to work well and increase the CPU cooler's efficiency. It is recommended that you use one of the two NFA 15 PWM fans included with the Noctua NHD 15 CPU cooler in the middle in order to have maximum clearance, but for even better cooling performance, you can use both of the fans. There is a fan installed in the middle, but there is another fan included with the Noctua NHD 15 CPU air cooler, which is entirely optional. The Noctua NHD 15 CPU cooler has six heat pipes that stretch outwards and then up into the fins, and they go through the seven shorter fins before going through the 38 larger fins above them. There are shorter fins on both edges of the Noctua NHD 15 CPU cooler to provide clearance for memory on both sides of the cooler. There's rubber isolation on the corners of the fans, which helps in keeping the cooler run quite silently while the fans cool the CPU underneath and these fans use wire fan clips to be clipped into place. The copper heat pipes and the copper base plate are nickel plated once they have been assembled. The Noctua NHD 15 CPU air cooler provides excellent cooling for the price it has. This CPU air cooler performs really close to even some of the AIO coolers, which are more expensive than the Noctua NHD 15. Two Noctua NFA 15 fans provide cool down the dissipated heat and provide more than enough cooling to keep your Ryzen 5 3600 CPU's temperatures low even when overclocking or under heavy working load. At number 2 it's Scythe Mugen 5 Rev B. Scythe has a different approach to their product lineup than many other manufacturers who jump around with product lines, try new things, and hoping for the best. However, Scythe has a different method. They consider their customer feedback and adapt to the existing designs in order to fulfill the needs of the users and then deliver an updated cooler to an already existing product line. Being based on the highly awarded Mugen 5, the Scythe Mugen 5 Rev B CPU cooler brings some minor changes in order to provide the customer's flexibility and to provide support for the latest motherboards. Scythe got rid of a section of the fins as well as Scythe Mugen 5 Rev B has an offset in order to make the CPU cooler work easily with motherboards that have RAM on both sides. 
The side Mugen 5 Rev B comes with new hardware to fit on AM4 motherboards. The heat pipes are nickel plated, and the CPU cooler comes with a new fan from their K's Flex series to provide even better performance. With such a budget friendly price, Side Mugen 5 Rev B CPU cooler is a great choice for a budget cooler for the Risen 5 3600. The Side Mugen 5 Rev B CPU cooler has design that will appeal to more customers and provides performance that is quite similar to Noctua's New Hampshire D15 CPU cooler. The Side Mugen 5 Rev B CPU cooler supports every socket type since, and including the LGA775 on the Intel side, and on the AMD side. The CPU cooler's mounting hardware allows every socket type since, and including the AM2 to the AM4. Scythe included the K's Flex 120 PWM fan with the Scythe Mugen 5 Rev B CPU cooler. The fan is 120 mm square and has a 27 mm thickness. The speed of the fan can be anywhere between 300 to 1200 RPM via PWM. The Scythe Mugen 5 Rev B CPU cooler has a total of 39 fins, and the top fin is thicker than the rest of the fins, and there are caps over the heat pipe tips. These pipes are offset and have curves on both sides of the base. The Scythe Mugen 5 Rev B CPU cooler's tower has an asymmetric design. This CPU cooler's bent pipes allow the tower to sit a little bit back from the center point, this provides space for the primary fan placement. The tower offset provides space for RAM clearance, and on the other end of the CPU cooler, the five lower fins are also cut short to provide space for RAM clearance on both sides of the CPU cooler, especially for the motherboards that have RAM slots on both sides. The aluminum fins are pressed onto the heat pipes after the nickel coating. Side Mugen 5 Rev B CPU cooler's base has a near-perfect mirror finish to it and is slightly convex which does help in increasing the pressure and helps in the heat removal. The Side Mugen 5 Rev B CPU cooler is really quiet, even under load. This Rev B version of this cooler now supports AMD Ryzen 5 3600 out of the box which makes this CPU cooler a great option for a Ryzen 5 3600 PC build. At number 3 it's Noctua NHL 12S. Noctua is remaking a CPU cooler that we saw in 2012 last time. That CPU cooler was the Noctua NHL 12. The Noctua NHL 12 as well as the Noctua NHL 12S, both are aimed for those who have small cases and have little headroom for tower CPU coolers. However, Noctua did make some changes with the latest version of the CPU cooler. This time, the CPU cooler comes with only one fan instead of two. The Noctua NHL 12S CPU cooler is slightly smaller than the older NHL 12 CPU cooler, due to the fan change mostly. The Noctua NHL 12S CPU cooler is 70mm tall, whereas the NHL 12 CPU cooler was 93mm tall. There's some changes made to the design which should improve things for the users. There is a choice to put the fan below or above the fins, and this Noctua NHL 12S lies on its side and runs parallel to the motherboard. The Noctua NHL 12S is a small 70mm tall and a silent CPU cooler. It has a low noise adapter that has automatic speed control, which means that it only makes 21.4 decibels of noise at low loads. This makes it one of the quietest low-profile CPU coolers. The Noctua NHL 12S CPU cooler supports many older sockets, as well as any current sockets. The Noctua NHL 12S CPU cooler comes with a fan which makes the height 70mm, and if you put the fan above the fins, it will increase the height to 85mm. The Noctua NHL 12S weighs 390 grams, and if we add the fan, then the CPU cooler weighs 520 grams. Four 6mm in diameter heat pipes, as well as the base, are both made of copper, and then they have been nickel plated. Heat pipes of the CPU cooler are soldered into the base and are also soldered to the 58 fins. The Noctua NHL 12S CPU cooler comes with a single NFA 12X 15 PWM fan. The fan is 15mm thick. It spins at a maximum of 1850 RPM. All 58 fins are spaced with a tab bend over at the side. The fan clips onto the grooves on the side with a wire fan clip and is not any taller than the fins. The heat pipes are close to each other when they leave the base. However, they are more evenly angled as they rise to the fin stack in order to spread the heat more evenly so that the fan can remove it more efficiently. The heat pipes of the Noctua NHL 12S CPU cooler start in one direction and then bend twice to go back into the fins. The top one is a 90 degrees angle and the bottom one is a little gentle. 
The top section of the base fits the heat pipes tightly, and it also has the cross bar mounting solution, along with the already attached to the base spring loaded screws. The Noctua NHL 12S CPU cooler comes with NFA 12X15 Slim TWE LVE 0mm fan, and the user has the choice to mount it either under the fins or on top of the fins. Even if the user was overclocking the CPU, this CPU cooler can outperform similarly priced low profile coolers. At number 4 it's EVGACLC 280. To have a liquid-cooled AMD Ryzen 5 3600 PC build, there are many AIO coolers to choose from. However, many of these AIO coolers provide a similar performance out of the box, but we recommend the CLC 280, of course, if the 280mm AIO radiator fits in your PC build. 280 AIO Coolers CPU water block has a 100% copper base, and it also has a built-in pump which is really quiet and has a 20 decibels of noise level. There is an RGB LED logo on the CPU water block as well which is fully controllable. Measuring 312mm by 139mm by 27mm, the large radiator is made up of aluminum and can support 140mm fans. 280 AIO cooler ships with two really quiet Teflon Nano bearing 140mm fans. The CLC 280 AIO cooler comes with all of the necessary brackets, mounts, retention, and screws for installing different types of CPUs. CLC 280 AIO cooler's smoothly latched finish of the CPU mating surface has a factory applied a thermal paste of EVGA's ODM. The CPU water block uses a standard bracket holds it tightly with the CPU and it can also be removed if you twist it counterclockwise and replace it with the legacy AMD bracket. When the system is powered up, the EVGA logo on the CPU water block lights up. It has sleeved tubing as well, which makes the AIO look stylish and sleek. You can use the downloadable software to control the fully controllable RGB LED. Just connect the included USB cable to the CPU water block at one end, and connect the other end will connect to the USB header on the motherboard. If you download the software, it will give you complete control over the EVGA CLC liquid cooler, which includes RGB lighting, fan speed, pump control, and you can save your own profiles. There are two standard PWM fan headers, you just have to break the USB interface out of the head unit. The 280 AIO cooler has been ranked against the likes of H115 IV2 and Kraken X62 in terms of performance, and at 600 RPM, with 29 decibels of noise level. It comes with two 140mm PWM fans, RGB and a stylish yet clean look, coupled with the performance it provides, makes it a great choice to use it for the Ryzen 5 3600 in the PC build. At number 5 it's Corsair H100 iRGB Platinum. One of the best known brands when it comes to PC components is, without a doubt, Corsair. It is like this for a good reason. They have a hand in pretty much everything providing the users with their great value for money products with great performance. Corsair's one of the most popular range of products, probably has to be the AIO coolers. They have a huge range which suits almost every requirement, need or price. The Corsair H100 iRGB Platinum AIO cooler features RGB, and if you are a gaming enthusiast and enjoy light shows coming from your PC, then the Corsair H100 iRGB Platinum AIO cooler is a great choice for you as it has that beautiful RGB lighting and provides great cooling performance which makes it a great choice to use for AMD Ryzen 5 3600. The Corsair H100 iRGB Platinum AIO CPU cooler has a professional look and it is in a sleek black style except for the silver part that the pump block is surrounded with. Having a well-protected feel on the pipes that go from the pump to the radiator, at the same time these pipes are really flexible, which should not make any problem when moving it. The pump block has the classic Corsair's AIO design that anyone will recognize if they are familiar with the Corsair's AIO design. Pump's mating surface comes with thermal paste pre-applied to it. For covering the processor, the mating surface is nice and big and has a smooth finish which will provide good contact to help in removing the heat from the CPU. This AIO cooler features a snap fit mounting solution. Corsair H100 iRGB Platinum AIO Coolers Radiator has a sleek black design and is quite remarkable than most 240mm radiators. It has a solid build which is reassuring. Corsair H100 iRGB Platinum AIO Cooler ships with two ML120-120mm fans. 
These fans are designed specifically to provide the users with lesser noise with RGB lighting. Corsair has proved themselves to have one of the easiest installation methods. The number of cables may look weird, but once everything is plugged into the correct ports, then a little bit of cable management will solve it. If you really don't care about budget, have room for a 240mm radiator in your PC case, and want excellent performance, then you should check out the Corsair H100 iRGB Platinum AIO CPU cooler. It provides excellent cooling performance for the Ryzen 5 3600 CPU, has a sleek design, has RGB on the CPU water block, but it is a little bit expensive, as there are other AIO CPU coolers that perform similarly and are a bit cheaper. The CPU comes with an AMD's Wraith Stealth CPU air cooler, which doesn't do a great job at keeping the CPU cool. The CPU would reportedly reach quite high temperatures, especially when overclocking. Prolonged periods of time for the temperature of the CPU to be above 70 degrees may damage your CPU, and it will not allow you to use the overclocking power consistently with the CPU air cooler that the Ryzen 5 3600 comes with.